Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy, with the daily gratitude news for Thursday, July 30th. <clears throat> Always talking about how gratitude can impact you physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and what the latest news is around that. So today's uh, news is your brain floods with reward chemicals. A lot of the studies on the benefits of gratitude have come out of the University of California Berkeley's Greater Good Science Center, which focuses its resources on uncovering the real medical benefits, benefits of stuff like giving to charity or saying thank you to your mom. The GGSC is a good place to start if you want to investigate the real ways gratitude can improve your life. According to their research, it starts with the brain's reward system. Basically, a brain is, is a brain that is experiencing gratitude, specifically gratitude focused on a specific person, i.e. thinking other people are thanking other people for their behavior towards you, rather than thanking fate in general for not killing you this year, is flooded with positive chemicals of a unique kind. It's not just simple pleasure like the kind you get from eating a chocolate or having sex. Instead, the brain's response to gratitude is to activate a reward center one specifically targeted at boosting your bonds with other people. It rewards you, makes you more inclined to want to feel this feeling again, and makes you feel attached to others at the same time. Gratitude for the brain is a really social emotion. And the second part for today, your anxiety and depression symptoms may lessen, something I think that's very important in this day and age of coronavirus, COVID-19, and a lot of the mental uh, issues that are uh, surrounding that. Uh, though no scientists recommend gratitude as a replacement for proper therapy and meditation, medication, when it comes to anxiety or mood disorders, you should absolutely not try to substitute the gratitude practice in place of, of a professional mental health care. Research has shown that a grateful brain might be able to help meditate some of the symptoms of these problems or mediate, excuse me. According to a 2012 Chinese study reported in Psychology Today, Keeping a daily gratitude journal, how often have we heard this, has some interesting effects on people suffering from anxiety and depression. The anxious slept better, which helped lessen some of their symptoms. But the depressives experienced even more positive change overall. They slept better too, but even if they didn't, their depressive symptoms were still rated as better on a regular mood test. So it's good for calming the anxious and for boosting the moods of the depressed, possibly in the latter case, because it's a challenge to have negative thought patterns, which can be a core component of serious depression. So that's the news for today. Another way that gratitude is making such a difference in how it can focus on you and again, affect you, affect you physically, mentally, uh, physio, uh, socially, and, and uh, psychologically as well. That's the news for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, be grateful and never quit.